Hi there, Pisces. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of August. Your relationship sector is going to be absolutely pulsating the longer this month goes on. In fact, by week three, something really special can evolve for you. But before then, there are still some obstacles that you will perhaps need to overcome. And part of the challenge is coming from your co-ruler of Neptune, which continues to square up with Saturn. Saturn, right at the top of your horoscope, in your sector of responsibilities. Neptune is very much about the more idealistic and dreamy part of your nature, which is often so strong, and it's great when it comes to the arts and your personal expression. But Saturn is very demanding. It's asking you to fit in with what the world expects from you, not how you naturally necessarily need to be. So there's a bit of a conflict there. And with Mercury now sitting over the other side of the heavens in opposition to Neptune too, it's almost like the more you try to reach out and do the right thing, the more that others can seem to misunderstand or castigate you. Also, Venus moved last week into your sector of relating. So you now have Mercury, Venus and Jupiter, the wonderful Jupiter, across the heavens in the sign of Virgo. And in time, this will be very positive. But Venus is challenged by Mars, which itself moved into the same location as Saturn late last week. And that location is all about your worldly obligations, your ambitions. So there could be a tendency in some ways to be a little bit passive and then be almost a bit over assertive this week at times if you feel that your message is not getting across in the way that you want. I think the trick is going to be to really stay very cool. The sun, which continues in a very practical location, actually squares up with the moon on Wednesday, providing a quarter moon which tells you to slow things down this week, to not promise more than you can realistically deliver, to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to your personal needs, and not be too self-sacrificing, which can definitely be quite a Piscean trait. But maybe what Mars and Saturn are saying to you is that there are some goals and ambitions that you have, but you need to bring people with you. And that means the support of partners and those people that are close. But you can't demand that of them this week, but maybe you can just nudge them. And that's what I mean by not trying too hard. And then it comes to your message, try to keep this crystal clear. The great news is that by the end of this week, while Saturn ends its backward journey, which has lasted five and a half months. Throughout September, it's going to continue to be in conflict with Neptune, and then it start, this aspect starts to open up and it gets easier. Essentially, it can be the dissolution or erosion of a structure that in the past has been important to you. This may be something that's going on inside of you, or it may be something that you physically take part in, in terms of some kind of organisation. But changes seem to be quite to the fore at the moment. But if you can keep the lines of communication open, and keep being as gracious and diplomatic as possible, you will get your reward. And as I say, by week three, something really truly amazing can happen as far as your love or relating situations are concerned. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.